guys, welcome back to Gaming and Gaming. Today is part one of our 100% walkthrough of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So, let's start in the Gamers Gaming. walkthrough of this game one time uh, a little bit ago um and I, I decided to stop and I'm picking it back up I am restarting the game and we're doing normal difficulty I'll keep the name as Link um last time we were going through in hero mode which is the harder mode um and I never finished it um but it's just easier to play it in normal mode it's gonna be quicker too um so yeah what a relief I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What is Zelda? No, my name's Mirren. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Koholan Island. Alright, so yeah. Let's go talk to this guy. Ooh. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Tyrion. Hope you're feeling better. What? I don't know your name. You think it's weird, huh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Alright. So yeah, that guy's called Tyrion. Um, they modeled him after Mario, actually, because... Um, the creator of Mario is actually one of the producers on this game as well, so that's cool. Um, yeah, we're playing this game before uh, Echoes of Wisdom comes out. Um, that game's gonna come out in a few days, so yeah, I'm excited for that one. But yeah, um, here we are, Maid Village, a uh, chain shop over there for Mario. Just so you guys are aware, there will be a ton of Mario references in this game, so be aware of that. Um, we're just gonna come on down. Uh, beware of the Octorox. Do not let them, uh, KO you with, uh, the stuff they spit out at you, and we can push these guys back with our shield. Ouch. Alright, and then, we're gonna make our way over to this shore, and we're gonna find this sword. Um, we've got this owl guy that's gonna talk to us. I could skip some- I'll probably skip a few of his conversations, so... You are the live bones of the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are act starting to act so violently. Courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave this island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. Alright, so we're gonna pick up the sword. Um. Cool. So, you found your sword. It's yours because that's your name engraved on it. You can swing it. It would be to attack any enemies in your path. Alright, so now we're gonna be starting. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna be going through this game a little bit fast, so do be aware of that. Um, I'll upload a full 100% walkthrough a little later. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do a part two eventually as well. I think today I at least want to knock out all the dungeons. Next time I'll probably be moving forward some more uh, other things too. Um, yeah. Um. So really quickly, I'm gonna grab this. Um. We have hearts in this one. So if you're playing the game in hero mode. You take double damage, and you do not get any hearts. So, do be aware of that. Um, we just got a piece of heart, though, so... There's like 80 of those, I think, so... We're gonna be getting a few of this uh, walk through the game. Um, I'm gonna wait to do anything else till later. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep going this way. And there's gonna be stuff we're gonna have to do here in... Uh, the mysterious forest, and we got some moblins in here too, which are gonna be kind of your basic enemies. Um, so yeah. Who, brave lad, on your quest to wake to a dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of the mystery you, you will find on this uncharted island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the wind fish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave, which is south of the village? Go there now with the key you will find in this forest. The windfish is watching who? Alright, yeah. So that guy can talk for a little while, so. Yeah. Um. 
side of here um yeah so we're gonna get be in this game pretty quickly so um i mean we're not gonna be like speedrunning it but we'll be here pretty fast so i guess i'll take guardian and one trip why not all right there we go we got 50 rubies cool so yeah, rubies are going to be the in-game currency of this game, so we're going to need quite a few for some things that are later, like shovels, and just to do some other mini-games in general. Alright, so here we are going to find the toad soil. You hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. So now we're gonna have to backtrack, um, back to where we were before. Um, well, the rocks you have to push to get back here. Um, let's go. And these guys are keys. Um, they're pretty much all the Zelda games. Um, yeah. Alright, and then I think those guys are like, I don't know what those guys are called, they're like some slimes or something. So we need to come into here and it's like a witch's hut and then we're gonna get some magic powder in here. Alright. So they're like, yeah, you got the toad soul, so they make you like uh magic powder so that we can light some stuff up and do some other things like that. Um, so yeah, we can go on the screen and also to lie and I can just uh light Torches on fire and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. I mean, you can collect another toadstool again, but like, there's not really a point. And you're not gonna need a ton of uh, magic powder in this game. By the way, there's a little secret if you spray magic powder on this guy and talk to him. He says, I'm a change blob, and that's not all I have to say. So, yeah. You can only, get the, you can only defeat him if you use the magic powder, because he will electrify you otherwise. Um, Which you can't combo both, um, unfortunately, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so by the way, there is like a fairy over here. Um, you can talk to her if you want to like revive your health, but fine, right now, I'll take that one, though. Just in case there's any rubies in this grass. No, I'll take a few. Um, just so that we don't have to go and grind out a ton of rubies later as much. Um, and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna talk to this guy and he's gonna tell him, us that his nose is very sensitive to the dust and powder. So we can spray this guy. And cool, you can actually uh, get him stuck in like a loop in one spot. But we can, it's fine though. Alright, there's Heron again. He got mushrooms on his backpack, too. That's cool. Uh -huh. Last thing I can remember was biting a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream I was a rat cannon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Alright, so now we can proceed to this path where he would be blocking us off otherwise. Um, so now we can get the tail key so we can open the tail cave gate. Alright, who take the key and go to the tail cave? Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting to. Alright, 
guess we're gonna do just that. We're gonna go over to that spot. Okay. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna come over here and get this part done first. Alright, and there we go, we got the small key you can open a locked door. Alright, um, there we go. And there we go, we got our compass, they'll basically alert us like, oh hey, there's a key nearby. Um, do we need any of the compass, peak, or other maps and stuff like that? Not really, but for completion, 100% completion wise, I'll, I'll get it all. Um, yes, we now know that there's a key in here, which I mean, um, I would recommend getting all that stuff just in case you don't, uh, know what you're doing, so yeah. All right, and there we go, we got a small key. Come here, there we go. That, oh, okay, that was close. I didn't actually know I could do that. That's cool though. Um, okay, so over here, there's some shot guys. I think these guys are based off some characters in Mario as well, but we're just gonna pass them. Uh, make sure not to get shocked, especially if you're playing this in game in hero mode. And I haven't talked about this, but I'm actually doing a no death challenge. So I'm having to beat the entire game without dying. Um, which is fine. Um, and we got these spinies here. We just need to bump into them with our shield and then either bounce them into one of the pits or hit them afterwards. Um, so yeah. Let's come down here. Alright, and then- Oh, I stomped on two Goombas. Okay, so these are guys are Goombas from the Mario games. You probably know of them. I want to stomp on this one. You can sword slash them, which I'll just do that there. Just for the sake of time, but I mean, yeah, I like to, uh, stomp on them, because it feels like you're playing Mario. Um, alright, we got these guys. And then here we are going to find Rock's Feather. So Rock's Feather basically lets you jump. Um, put that on. Um, so now I can press the X button to jump, which is really cool. Um, yeah. So we're gonna come back down now. And hop across all that. Move back up. And now we can jump across there too. Um, that's a little shortcut. And here. Oh, okay, that was close. Um, so now we need to see, I think both of these guys, this one right there. And there's one over here as well. Um, so let them come closer. Come on. Okay, then there's gonna be a key or something. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll take 20 rubies, so uh, yeah. Um, come in here. Alright, small key, you can open a locked door, cool. Um, okay, and then we got these guys over here. Um, so they are kind of annoying. 
Okay, um... I'll come in here, uh, really quickly to do one thing. Um, let me get this done. Alright. One more. Boom. There we go, done. Okay, whoa. That wasn't too bad. And then we get the bird beak, so we can basically just talk to the statues with it, and um, they'll tell you what to do. Which, like, I, I don't really do it because it's not really needed. Um, so yeah. Let's come over here. All right, we got this guy. Ouch. That hurt. Go down. There we go. Done. Alright, and there's a chest. And we got the nightmare key. Now we can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Cool. So I'm gonna try to beat this boss without taking damage, but like, I don't need to, necessarily. It's fine. But like, if I do get it without da taking damage, I'll take it. Um. Oh, one more thing. I missed this because I did not go this way. Um, so, like, I wouldn't recommend coming in through here. I recommend actually coming in through the other side. If you're trying to speedrun this, at least. Um, okay, my help. Thank you, I did that. Um, this way, there's a map. Ouch. Or at least, or not, it's fine. Um, and there we go, um, that is gonna be our map. Alright, there we go, at last you got a map, press minus to look at it. Okay, cool. Okay, now we can go over here, and... Yeah. Drop that guy in there. Alright, and then we got this guy. So, yeah. My strategy is just to spam the B button uh, to get this guy. And there we go, he's done. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what that guy's called. So random dude. And then we get this uh, fairy. We had a bottle, we could bottle it up and get something. Um, there's, I don't think there's anything down there, so we're not gonna mess with that. Um, but it's like, um, gonna come in here. We got this, like, bug guy, uh, called Moldorm. Um, so yeah. Let's get him. So, the Spin Slash does two damage when you hold B, so I'd recommend just doing that to damage this guy, so you only have two faces. Um, the final face can get a little bit harder, so yeah. That's my, uh, speedrun stress. It's GMG here. Um, yeah, you guys don't have to do that, obviously, but that's a fun way of doing it. Um, but you got a heart container, your maximum number of hearts increase, and your health has been refilled. Um, okay, then we got this file in here. Alright, we got the full moon cello. Cool. Swamp. Path opens in the blooms. All right, cool. So, um, we're gonna do a little bit more today since that was a short episode. Um, the dungeon's pretty short, so yeah. Um, ooh, ooh. all right. Hoot, that's an instrument of the sirens. Ooh, ooh. I have to admit, at first I did not believe that you were real. The instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the wind fish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north in Kaponga Swamp. Hoot, indeed. 
All right, so cool. We got an extra heart um, with our container, um, which is nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna jump across there, take shortcuts. Oh, um. Well, I think that's gonna be it for today. Yeah, we're gonna continue this up next time. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.